guys good morning you guys i'm starting a little bit late nonetheless we are starting i put a little bit of eyeshadow on and i put my foundation anytime i wear foundation i always always skip the under eye area currently only have my eye cream on right now i've had it on for i don't know maybe 30 minutes so abh released their very first first concealer and you guys know i love concealer but if you're new welcome my name is magdalene jack i have dark under eyes they're sunken in they're creasy and i'm always looking for the latest and greatest concealer to show you guys so this is the magic touch concealer i bought mine on abh website i should have waited but i didn't know when it was going to um you know be available well, the packaging's big look how big this is i want to also explain color correcting to you guys within these two days because i feel like it's very important to understand shades and when you're buying why you're buying so i got the shade 12 it has a rosy undertone rosy undertones are usually about like a rosy pinkish shade a peachish shade which helps to color correct and that's what we need right now let's just look at this really quick damn what the hell wow look at this doe foot here, let me show you on my dirty napkin. Look at it. It's like huge. It's really long. Just the doe foot part. Dang, look. Okay, and I have a small face. I prefer smaller. So what I'll do, well, this is really pink. You see that? I'm gonna add here and here. It has a thick consistency. I'll add here some, maybe right there. I don't know if it's too dark though. Let me show you guys in this type of lighting. You see that pink? It's more like peach, not rosy. So what I do with the concealer, I'll let it sit, but this texture is already a little bit on the thicker side. So let's see how it thickens up and how it reacts when we let it dry a little bit. Okay, so back to the size. It comes in a 0.4 ounce bottle. So that's a little bit bigger than the average. The average is 0.33. Oh wow, it's blending nice, like very nicely okay this shade's a little bit i feel like too deep i don't know if it's gonna conceal if the concealer shade is too deep um it may not really conceal ideally you want a concealer to conceal and brighten just a little bit yeah i think it's too dark so before and after what you think it has good coverage it's creamy it doesn't look like it's creasing so okay so what I'm gonna do is apply this side with a brush and give you all the info about the product. The brand new Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer retails for $29. It comes in 25 shades. I am in the shade 12 for medium skin with pink undertone. This is a medium to full coverage, creamy, lightweight formula that corrects, brightens, blurs, and conceals while blending to a natural second skin finish. The coverage is medium, the finish is natural. It is free of parabens. It's also vegan, gluten, and cruelty free. All right, we have good coverage. It's a very heavy duty concealer, but it's not heavy where it will weigh the under eyes down. It is creasing, so let me go back and just get rid of these creases. And let me look up so you can see straight ahead but it goes on the under eyes very smoothly it blends out very nicely even if you let it sit so that's a good thing let's see what time is it it's currently 7 50. actually why am i telling you the time let's set i haven't set yet so i'm gonna go in with this Too faced setting powder i really like this setting powder setting powder can lighten up the concealer so because it's a little bit on the darker side this will help because it's a very light translucent on the sponge side i'm gonna use my powder puff i get from amazon and on the brush side i'm gonna use this brush setting powder is important when you are setting your under eyes if you have creasy under eyes and they're dry a matte powder will literally dry it out it'll make it look flaky it's not going to complement your under eyes at all and really in general under eyes because under eyes don't have pores they don't create any oils or anything so once you set your under eyes that's it it will move a little because you're constantly blinking but for the most part it should stay as it let's get the powder let's get a good amount we're gonna even this out because we don't want a lot of powder either here like too much under here is gonna be a mess because there's nowhere for product to go especially in the under eye area and then that's when it looks cakey crepey and scrapey let's look up let's get rid of any creases which it increased a lot after while still looking up i'm gonna tap this powder in it's only a little bit of powder and i'm doing tapping motion so i keep everything as is instead of rubbing 
The under eye area is also very delicate, so you don't want to rub because then you'll get arrugas real quick. And I do this for maybe about like 15 seconds or so, just back and forth. I always use setting powders I know and trust and love that work, especially when I'm doing a first impressions. I'm gonna do the same thing with the brush. This brush is clean, so we're gonna saturate it very well. Get a good amount, like really get it in all the bristles and then remove. And you see how it lightened it? Setting it with the powder puff, just setting it in general. The powder puff will give you more of a smoother look and feel than brushes from my experience, but watch it be different right now. So again, we had a little bit of crease in here. We're gonna tap in the powder. Still while looking up, you don't want to look down because then you're going to set in those creases. I really like this formula. It kind of, it has like a nice hydrating look and feel. It doesn't make the under eyes look dry, so that's nice. So here we are. We set with the powder puff on the left side and on the right side with the brush. It's 7.50-ish. Let me just finish up my face and then I'll be back. Well, my bronzer is always playing games with me. Me and bronzer, I swear, are not friends. Like sometimes we're best friends and today we're not. So guys, I'm back full face and everything. I didn't do anything to my under eyes. I just added a little bit of eyeshadow underneath. Looking at the under eyes right now, I don't see any creasing, which is nice. A lot of times that happens just because your under eyes crease. It doesn't mean it's the concealer's fault. There's sometimes that concealers prevent it because of the formula and there's some concealers that are still really good that crease. It just really all depends. And let me turn the lights off so you guys can see. The only thing is that because the shade's a little bit too deep, I don't think it's concealing completely. You can see that darkness coming through because of the shade. This is the sponge side, this is the brush side. If I were to pick one side, I think I like the sponge and the powder puff a little more because it looks a tad bit smoother. I mean, not by a lot. Shade's too dark, so it's not really giving us that conceal, nice, brighten effect. The actual formula, I really like. I think it conceals, it doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't weigh the under eyes down, and it's not giving us excess creasing. So that's always a good thing, you know? Get my hair a little bit differently today. I'm trying to keep up with the hair trends these days. My grandma used to always do braids on us, like before we went to school. She'll put strings in our hair and braid it. It was like the coolest thing. And I'm so happy braids are back because it just reminds me of that. But anyway, I want to tell you guys that. Just jump in front of the window because the window will be telling us the truth. And yeah, this is it for now. And I'll see you later. Bye. Fam, here we are in front of the window and let's look. Here is the sponge side with the powder puff. And here is the brush. No lie, the brush looks good, huh? I don't know. I don't know, like, I don't see the greatest coverage, but it's because of the shade. But it looks good, though. You know, I think it definitely has potential. It's just, you know, we got, I got the wrong shade. But in daylight, I feel like it looks a lot better, you know? But yeah. Hey guys, I'm back. So it is 5.30. We've had the new ABH concealer on for about 10 hours. Before we get started, I do want to show you at around 3 o'clock in front of the window how the concealer was looking. At this point, it was looking really good. It really looks exactly like we started off. And I also want to show you some footage I just took maybe about 30 minutes ago in golden hours so you can see and get a real look on how the concealer was looking no lie it looks good look at it like we saw earlier today the darkness you can really see it here but it's because of the shade i was able to get another shade so we're going to use the new shade tomorrow the texture and the way it's lasting pretty good it's just the color like this is peeking out too much for me to tell you this is a bomb concealer we need our proper shade in order to make a good assessment we'll see i feel like we'll have a better look tomorrow this is it for now for day number one and i'll see you tomorrow morning good morning guys so let's start it's early so i'm gonna try to keep my voice a little bit low so i went ahead and got the shade nine i went to ulta they have it in store in ulta so i want to show you the differences Here's nine, here is 12. You see how 12 is my complexion damn near? So this is the shade nine, kind of light, but it has like a neutral undertone, but you can't really see it here. I believe the undertone is cool. Let me check really quick. So cool is, it has like a very slight pink undertone. And here is the shade 12, which I originally got. You see how it's blending into my hand? Let me turn off the 
like you can see like the texture it has like the thickest texture and look it like has good coverage kind of reminds me of a foundation it, because it has that thicker texture but it's not heavy and eyes didn't crease so i'm like girl today we're gonna go with shade nine because that will work the best we need some concealing like i said yesterday we're gonna talk about color correcting so when it comes to color correcting it helps to look at a color wheel my under eyes the darkness it's like a purple a bluish sometimes like it all depends if i wear purple or like blue eyeshadow this will look a lot darker because it pulls those colors out not literally but you can see them and they look a little more visible you want to get your color wheel and as you can see i'm under the blue blue violet and violet shades and you see the opposite it's orange yellow orange or yellow those are the colors you're going to use to conceal that area it's in the opposite side of the shade you're trying to conceal so that's why i always go for a color corrector that's peach that's pink that has a little bit of the reddish undertone not red but like a very pink or very peach because that will conceal that area and once it's concealed we can go with actual concealer will just look very nice and concealed i'm gonna let this sit so it thickens up a little bit if you don't have a color corrector if you don't want to use a corrector if it's too much you can still look at the color wheel and get a concealer that has that undertone usually when it says cool it kind of goes more on the reddish pink side some concealers literally say rosy pink rosy peach those will be concealers that have a red rosy undertone like a legitimate undertone a concealer that's like that is this one from one size you can't really see hold on let's turn this dang light off it has like a pinkish undertone it's not as pink as the abh i really like that undertone because it's very peach like you guys saw yesterday i wasn't really concealed or if you want to get a concealer that has rosy peach that's gonna do the color correcting and concealing at the same time wow i didn't even put my foundation on oh my god I'm, that's how discombobulated i am okay let me just blend this out so you see we're concealed you know so that corrector is going to literally color correct the darkness that's going to be the first step of the concealing process you see what i'm saying so you know what let me put my foundation on i'll be back i was legit caught up with explaining the color correcting i forgot to do everything i didn't comb my hair i didn't put my foundation on by the way i'm using this one it's so bomb and yeah so that's a brief description of color correcting how it works and what it's for that's another reason why i always avoid foundation on my under eyes because we're already going to do corrector we're going to do concealer and we're going to do setting powder those are three things already in this very small area that doesn't produce pores that is constantly unfolding because you're blinking you know so less is more i swear i say it all the time but you know so what we want to do is concentrate this little bit right where the darkness is you see like that bent right there and then you can go up here because this will give you like a lifted effect probably even too much but we're just gonna add some there this will just highlight the face a little we're gonna let it sit and then blend it out felt like the sponge i don't know just blend it out better you see look at this a sponge will blend out and shear the product out little goes a long way so you're definitely getting your 29 dollars worth literally because it, it gets the job done and what i'm doing is just literally tapping you see how it's spreading which is why you want to go with a little bit and what i like to do because my eyeliner is also playing games with me today it's it's a rough morning but we're gonna get through it we're about to like act like my eyeliner wasn't playing today so we're just gonna cover that up it's a little bit on the lighter side but it's concealing like no other look before and after let's turn off these light okay look you see like dang i also went out last night and i you know want to sleep later but i did wake up at five so it's currently 6 30 i'm doing the damn thing i'm so proud of myself i didn't go back to sleep okay 6 30 i'm gonna put this other eye on just kind of quickly okay guys Whew, this is good yesterday i feel like all around i wasn't having a good makeup day today we're redeeming ourselves and i like this i like this a lot oh you know i do want to show you if it oxidizes you see the swatches that i did earlier today let's go with the light one 
Yeah, let's put it close to there. Actually, it does not oxidize that much. Wow, I'm surprised. That's the shade close to it, and then that's the shade close to that one. For the most part, true to shade, so that's helpful. We're gonna go in with this Maybelline setting powder. But what I'm gonna do is get powder. I always use a clean one anytime I do my makeup, so I have them rotating quite often. <laughs> I have to wash them a lot. It's weird, some rip easier than the others. Like the ones I've had now, they haven't ripped, you know? Always tap in your concealer for two reasons. It's a lot gentler on the eye and it also won't move anything you already placed there. Mind you, we already have our color corrector and our concealer. And like we did yesterday, looking up, we're gonna set it down. I'm removing some powder because it, I feel like there was too much and then really get in there. This is how it looks. Let me look up. Not bad, huh? I like it today. It looks really good. What I'm gonna do is just finish up my face really quick. Keep it super simple. I'm not gonna touch the under eyes. I just always like to tell you what I'm gonna do and I'll be back. Hola, hola, I'm back. My trencitas are back too. I just, I'm like, let's get the hair together because you know. Okay guys, so look at this concealer. Like, where are the under eyes? Concealer helps so that it doesn't look as deep, but it's never gonna go away, you know, cause the dip, it's actual, it's an actual dip. This, let me look up. Yeah, it's not creasing at all. It looks freaking good. And like, you see how we have concealment today? I don't, yeah, that's a word, right? And let me look up so you can see. So today I feel like we're getting the full picture. We're having a better makeup day. Our under eyes look good, therefore I feel good. You know what I mean? But we won't know until the end of today to see how our under eyes look. And yeah, I'm very pleasantly surprised with this one. On another thing I wanna let you know is my lipstick is the What's Your Sign Matte Lipstick from Urban Decay. Oh, good nude. Mm -hmm. Let's jump in front of the window so you guys can see the deal and I'll see you later. Bye. All right, fam. Here we are in front of the window and look at this coverage. Like, what? Where's the darkness? Dang. Looks good, huh? This is exciting. Oh my God, my stomach. I need to go get my cafecito right now. But yeah, for sure, better day today. Okay. Hello, hello, familia. I'm back. It is 6.30 p.m. It's been 12 hours since we've had the ABH concealer on. But before we get started, I do want to show you two check-ins. One at around 3.30 just to show you guys here in the car how the concealer was looking it wasn't the best lighting but you can kind of see and then here maybe about five minutes ago i'm showing you in direct sunlight and with this lighting the concealer looks a lot better i just wanted to give you a different option so you guys can see how brightening and how full coverage this concealer is and here we are now 12 hours later and this is how it looks it looks pretty good i will say that i think this concealer works best on its own i felt like yesterday we had a better day with the concealer just sitting on the under eyes without really breaking apart, but the color just wasn't really doing it for us. But today, I feel like because we did use the corrector, it's kind of like kind of drying. And I think it's because this concealer is a really true full coverage concealer. Because of the texture, it's a little bit on the thicker side. Any additional product will be a little bit too heavy for the under eye area. Is it very, very heavy? No, not at all. But I can see a slight difference in longevity I can see throughout the day it just wasn't looking as nice as it looked yesterday because we had the corrector is we're doing too much pretty much so less is more with this one I think it's a great concealer in the sense that it conceals like you're gonna get coverage this is the better version of the Tarte Shape Tape it's not as drying as the original I love that one though it works really really well it, it has that coverage the only thing I don't like about this is the shade they don't have enough of good undertones for a variety of people so many people have different under eye needs and a lot of times it's discoloration and discoloration could vary from blues to violets to greens to reds like the undertone just didn't get it for me i know the foundation had a bunch of shades so hopefully if they come out with more i would give this one a 10 out of 10 but because of the shades i would give it like a 8.5 because we have coverage it's not heavy it doesn't really crease it doesn't weigh the 
under eyes down it's worth the 29 dollars if you find your shade and i could just tell the formula is a little on the thicker side and she's kind of like leave me alone i could do it all you know and she could but we need more shade okay but yeah i think this is it guys thank you for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me let me know your thoughts on this have you seen any reviews have you bought it and i really hope the color correcting portion of the video was helpful so if you want me to make a full video dedicated to that let me know i would be so happy to do it oh my god look at my hair but yeah this is it i love you guys so so much thank you for all your love and support please don't forget to like subscribe click the button right here and i'll see you in the next one bye